What's going on folks? Welcome to another video. In this one I will quickly let you know about one of the updates in SAP product called Resource Scheduling Tool, so called RSA, which can be part of your SAP S4HANA implementation project. First of all, if you have no clue what SAP RSH is, it's a new tool in SAP S4HANA which you can use for work scheduling and dispatching. Why I mentioned you can? Because it's not an obligatory tool. Actually, it's something you have to pay extra, so have it in mind. I recorded a separate video about RSH. If you want to know more, check it out. In this one, we focus strictly on the new update which is available from S4HANA 2023. And it's of course integrated with phase maintenance model. The nine phases like initiation, screening, planning and so on. We will prepare the system and then go through the demo. As always, we start with a business case. And you already know this place, I spend most of the time here. We are in Texas Workshop, we've discussed many topics already here, they are on my YouTube channel and in my SAP EEM Ultimate course as well. There are two groups of technicians here, mechanics and electricians, and they are of course reflected in the SAP system. There is a maintenance planner who defines the work, schedules and more. And today we will help him because we got something new in SAP Resource Scheduling Tool starting from S4HANA 2023. If you know the previous versions of RSH or just pure SAP S4HANA Asset Management, you know it was impossible to assign more than one person to an operation in work order. You can for instance define sub-operations and to each sub-operation you assign a different employee. But it's not a satisfactory solution. It sucks actually. We want to have one operation where we have multiple technicians assigned. So we go one level deeper, because normally we just assign a work center and that's all. But as you remember, work center represents in most of the cases group of people in plant maintenance world. And we want to define who exactly from this group is going to do that. And we can achieve this with the SAP RSH with S4HANA 2023 onwards. You can also display so-called people Gantt. Before we do it, let's prepare the system. Then we will launch the RSH. There are a couple of things which we gotta configure, set up before we use the solution. My question to you is, do you know how to reflect people, employees in SAP? Technically, yeah. Each person can be a separate work center. But nope, nobody does it this way. There is an object called personal number and each technician has his or her own number. This way we can identify them. Moreover, each technician is also reflected as a business partner. And this is the first prerequisite before we do anything in the system. We need work center and personal numbers together with business partners. We take this guy as an example. Now we got to assign him to the group of mechanics, work center of mechanics in SAP. If you don't use RSH, you maintain so-called mini HR and perform the assignment in the work center master data. We go to IR02 transaction, then click capacity, then double click capacity category and then HR assignment. We expand this structure here, click the person folder then add new and we add the personal number here. But it's not the case anymore for RSH. For this we create so-called teams and these we maintain via Fiori application called Manage Teams and Responsibilities. We go inside, click Create. We give it a name, let's say mechanics underscore TX01, description, I change the status to enabled. And here comes the stuff from configuration. Type. If you implemented the latest SAP best practices for s 4 up plant maintenance, it will come automatically. I mean, it will be predefined in the list. If not, you gotta configure it. The relevant type is maint underscore team. Let's say you don't have it. I'ma quickly show you how to do it. We go to SPRO cross application components, general application functions, responsibility management, functions, define the functions. We add the following three for external, internal and lead. 
The naming convention comes from SAP Help website. I will leave the link in the description of this video for the reference. We go back. Define functions profiles. We create a new one. We name it SMNT underscore team. We save it. Come back inside. Select it and click function profile to function mapping. And we assign the three functions which we defined in the previous step. We go back. Now we jump to teams and responsibilities, team categories, assign function profiles to team category. We create a new entry. Team category, we are looking for main underscore team. We assign a newly created profile, smnt underscore team. We save it and go back. We select define team types. It's time to create a new entry. In the team type, I enter main underscore team and the team category, I select main underscore team as well. I also add the description. We save it and that's all. Now we go back to the Fury app and we can search for the type we've just created. Here we go. In the responsibilities definition section, we enter the name of the work center. In my case, it's PM underscore Mac because I created for mechanics. Then we go down. Let's add the team members. For this, like you see, we need business partners. Don't create them manually. Once you create personal numbers, there is a program which performs synchronization in the background. As a result, these personal numbers are getting mirrored and business partners for these employees are created automatically. OK, we click create and add the people. For our purpose, I select these two folks. Before I save it, I have to define what functions they have in the team and these come from the config. They are both internals. I got to define who is the team owner. In my case, the first guy will be responsible for the team. And now I can save it. Teams can be more complex. You can create sub teams, super teams, etc. We won't dive deep into that. Let's launch the RSH. I got my Fiori Launchpad open. We are looking for the app called Resource Scheduling for Maintenance Planners. Here we go. Again, I won't describe the details of this dashboard. I did it in the previous video. We assume the maintenance planner planned the work already, so the orders are already there. I click Work Center Utilization Tile and here I switch to Maintenance Orders tab. Let's select the following two orders for our purpose. Now we gotta click the button Show in Maintenance Scheduling Board. Cool. Do you see some differences between old RSH and this one? First of all, you can switch the view here. Once I change it to Orders and Resources, we got this section below with the Work Center utilization throughout the selected date range. I will set it back to Orders. What you may also notice are these buttons over here. There is something called a sign and this is the major change over here. It's deactivated because I got to select an operation first. I expand the order, select the first operation and we click the button Assign, Assign People. And voila, we got the list of people who are part of the team which is linked with the PM underscore Mac work center, so mechanics in the Texas workshop. And we also see the people again. So here we see if selected person is overloaded, if other tasks, other operations have been assigned to them. For these folks, we see they are free. So assign both of them. Let's save it. Of course, we can go back with the same button and unassign them if we want to. Cool. So I go to the second order, which is planned for the same time because I want to show you the overlapping. We go to the operation, click assign and here we go. We see these folks are already assigned to other operation. We got the order number here. I won't assign them in this order. I mentioned RSH is integrated with the phase maintenance model. This tool is used in scheduling phase. And this phase ends with so-called dispatching. Dispatching means the operations, the orders are sent to the technicians and they see them in Fiori apps or mobile solutions like, for instance, SAP Service and Asset Manager. We won't dive into details in this video. Before I show you two more things in this one, consider subscribing the channel. I know you heard it a lot that it motivates people to create more stuff and actually it is so in my case as well. What motivates me even more is your engagement. It's not only about likes, subscriptions and stuff. 
comment section is for you. Got something to add, to ask? Write it down and don't be shy. First of all, you can expand this table over here, select more columns like assigned people, number of people assigned and stuff. And here we go. We got these folks here in a table form. Cool. Now we go to web Dimper application, display maintenance order, because I want to show you something. Because I guess if you are experienced PM consultant, you already ask yourself how to see this assignment in the order itself. What we gotta do, we go to the operation and here we got the tab called requirements. And we see our two folks, we assign them via RSH. Well, that was it. Now you know what is new in SAP Resource Scheduling Tool starting from S4HANA 2023. If you want to learn more about it, check out the help page. If you want to learn SAP S4HANA plan maintenance or boost your current knowledge, you will find a link to my ultimate course in the description of this video. Thanks a lot and see you in the next one.